Hey guys, today I'm gonna be cooking up some dove that I shot last, not not last season, but the opening season in like oh, October. And it's just been sitting in my freezer ever since because I haven't ever had an empty, like a day where I'm eating something else. So um, it's 224, I'm kind of hungry right now. So this tiny pan, size of my hand. I'm gonna cook them up. Not sure, but it was real red when I first had it, but now it's. I'm not sure about this. Um, I get the sniff. Smells like it's been in the freezer for a few months. Smells frozen. I, I can't smell anything, but let's go get some flour. Um, uh, I saw some dude put flour and some seasoning. So first, let's get a little baggy. Oh, oh. Phil. Okay, we're gonna get our baggy. We got our flour. Now, camera set you up right here. So let's get some seasoning. Not doing salt because that's just plain. Um, um, what do we got in here? Oh shoot, first I gotta fall these out. Hmm. I, I can't just cook them while they're frozen. Um, uh, I guess I might just, I, I ain't gonna warm them up though, stupid. Oh shoot, it's like full of air. I don't know if that's good or not. Um, I guess I'm just gonna uh, let them wait. This big pot is full of water. frost these dove. I think it's good because we've only had for a few months, but you know, I, I, you never know. Ugh. Um, over in the city where I live, I'm telling you right now, the blackbirds are everywhere. Like, Literally everywhere. Um, so I may do a video on me catching a cookie rose. Um, if I do, that'll be a first. Not crow, because I saw some dudes do a catching cook on just random birds, and he said that he said that black birds were good and a little bit tender, but not tender much. And um. He just colored them in flour and stuff, so um, I may do that. But I'm not gonna hunt in the city. Um, sometimes on this tree in my front yard, they come up and post up there. Crow, not crows, but blackbirds. I don't want to shoot a crow because supposedly they're not good. So yeah, that'll be a fun video to do. Okay, let's put that thing in there. Now we're gonna get all the air out that we can. That water's steaming. Yeah, it smells like, I don't even know how this ice is stuff got in here. I hope it's good. Sucker up with water and put my belt in it and then make sure it's shut because we don't want no sink water getting into our dough. Oh no!
Okay, we got it filled up, and I will see y'all when it's thawed. Okay, now while it's thawing, we're going to get our seasonings. So, we're using flour, obviously, and... Wood for that. Is that spicy? Smelt spicy. Go try it. I, I can taste it. There's definitely barbecue in it. Yeah, this says barbecue on it. Um, I'll, I'll think about this one. I'm just gonna look at the other ones. Um, should I do garlic salt? What is this? Seasoned salt. Let's try that. Oh, you can't even, sir. Yo, the. Oh, you can. We're using this. The garlic in it is so good. Like, it's actually so good. Okay, so first, I think we're gonna wanna put in our flour first. We're not gonna need much because we just have a few breasts to cook up. That first scoop is enough. Okay, we got our flour in here. Now we're gonna put some seasoned salt to give it some saltiness. I may need more, but I will shake her up. break the bag because that would not be good at all. I think we need we could add a little bit more. Yeah. Ugh. Okay that's gotta be enough. Okay, I'll see that. Okay, let's zip her up. Mm -hmm. Y'all comment down below if the comments are on, if I should do a blackbird hunt, and if you have tried it, how it tasted and what you used. So I can know what to use and what not to use. Or what y'all recommend what I should hunt. Like, I'm just talking small game because um, I don't really have anywhere to go big game hunting, so. More like birds, rabbits, something. Okay. Smaller now. Hmm. Oh, pretty good. Let's go see if our doof just thawed. It's only been there for like five minutes, so I don't think so. Oh no, it's still cold. Okay, now we're starting to see that true red, red, red color. Personally, I I've tried Dove once, and if you haven't, I recommend it if you like dark meat because it's it's a really dark meat, um, like super dark. So that's just a something to know that it's dark, like super, super dark. But if you like dark meat, that will be for you because it's super good. I may do some quail hunting because 
behind my house, I saw a quail. And I've never seen a quail at our house before. I have seen field barks, though. Want to say hi? Hi. That's my little sister. She's funny. So, yeah. Um, uh, I guess we'll just wait till the stall's out, and then I'll get back to y'all. Bun, I see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back with you. It's been sitting for about 20 or 30 minutes, and it is ready, I'd say. But first, I'm going to do the sniff test, see if it's good to cook. I'm just, I'm just kind of concerned, okay? I mean, meat that's not been sealed completely. It's been in the freezer for a month or two. It's been there for, since October. Like something, October. Maybe October. I don't think it was like, maybe in October, I don't know. But, okay, we're gonna put them in our flour. And then we're gonna put them on our pan. It's our tiny pan. Okay. Ooh, I don't want to touch it. Well, it smells like dove meat. It, nothing smells off about it. It's old, I'll tell. Probably throw up, but hope I don't. Hope that, let's hope that doesn't happen. Got our dove fully coated. Just put her on the gas burner and steal it. Got our other nice little breast meat right there. They look like little hearts, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, let's get her out. off some of that extra stuff okay now let me go wash my hands and i'll get back to y'all with me cooking them okay let's start it okay i'm terrible at this let me get this started okay we got her going in between high and low hmm. it's weird see those little dots on there kind of scared to eat this did y'all eat it? Let me know. Oh, that's hot. No, oh, stupid. Okay. Maybe I can turn it on a little. Okay, I'm moving down. Huh. Okay, this shouldn't take long. I added some more of that seasoned salt, as you can see. Um, it smells like a cooking steak. Yeah, it smells like a cooking steak, and I hope it tastes like a steak. Um, they're, they're honestly pretty good sized little thingies. It was a pretty big dove, um, not gonna lie. You can hear it going shh. She is a cooking. I kind of forgot to add oil, so I put oil on it, and they are looking good. I just flipped them. I just poured some oil on them. I need to add a little bit more. Over here. She's a cooking. Oh my gosh, that looks so juicy. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have our dove meat right here. Super juicy looking. I hope it is. Let's go get a fork. Okay, we got our nice looking 
dove uh, breast meats, and we're going to gonna cut into the big one just to see what the inside looks like. Ooh, I may have overcooked it a little bit. Dark. I can't tell you how good it smells. This one smells like popcorn, I think, because I used a cast iron skillet. That's cheap. That is so crunchy. Cause I flour, I guess. Not tender. A little rough. Here's this piece. I'm telling you, this is crunchy. Um, that's how I wanted it. This outside layer right here. It's basically a stick. It tastes like one. And this out layer is so crunchy. That got me. I need some salt. It has the texture of the steak. Hmm. I recommend it. Cheap steak. Like a knockoff steak. Here's this. Looks good. I'm gonna go get some A1 if we have any. Mm. For this first one, I'm going to dip it in the in the salt and then I'm going to dip it in my barbecue. But for the second one, I think I'm just going to do the plain sea salt or whatever this stuff is, seasoned salt. Okay, got it nice coated. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yo, I am telling you, that is so good. I'm not even gonna do the regular sea salt now. I'm just gonna do it with both. That is so good. Oh my gosh. Look at that. 
y'all. so good so good like I don't even think I need the A1 because yeah, it's not A1 it's barbecue sauce I'm like y'all go get yourself some dove because that was the best small game food I've ever had oh my gosh so flour and this is called seasoned salt right here it's pepper onion right here says seasoned salt i guess you could find this at walmart or something and then you just put seas sea salt seasoned salt and some flour in a bag shake it up whatever pan you prefer um i use the cast iron skillet and then uh you put oil on it because if you don't the your crust comes off and your crust really makes it it really makes it good um and then i think i overcooked mine a little bit that's why it wasn't so tender um i just wanted to get it done so um kind of any parasites or anything they're not alive so, even if, no, hmm, I don't know. So, yeah, that was good. I definitely recommend that. That was better than a snake steak. Um, uh, I cook steak sometimes, and that was probably the best tasting thing that I've ever had before. Um, I, yeah, I definitely recommend that. Um, if I ever see some blackbirds, on my property. Wow, wow, wow. Take them sugars down. And at this land that I have permission to hunt on too, see some blackbirds. It's not a crow though. Oh my gosh. That was so good. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and put the notification bell on. And I will see y'all and Paul Durkin in the next video. See y'all.